ain't no cap. No cap will hat. Make it happen. Captain. We got the whoopty on the whoopty with the hoopty. If it's a hoopty, then it's a holiday. They don't fuck with me no holiday. I treat them like it's fucking Folly's Day. Big dog status, it's okay. <sighs> okay, um, I'm pretty sure Ariel is probably gonna be hella shitty as always. I think what I'm gonna do to fix this problem is probably most likely I'm gonna go get me a, another audio device and um, plug it up to the microphone and then put it in my pocket. Man, I just hate having all those wires on me, you know? And then, to make it even worse is trying to take your helmet off. Cause then you gotta deal with all that. Uh, but, you know, whatever. If I wanna keep doing motor vlogs, that's what I'm gonna do. I love this channel. I, lo I love making YouTube videos. I, I think I should say that. I, I'm gonna say that on camera that I love making YouTube videos like it's not really the YouTube videos that get to me it's the fact that uh you know you don't have the, the following or the support oh my god it's super windy I wonder if can y'all hear that wind it wouldn't matter anyway because even if I don't post this you know it's, it's just something for me um I'm finding that just recording just leaving the camera on and recording and talking you know what I'm saying it's, it's better for my, my my creative process my creative process you know uh, one thing that's hard about being a, a motor blogger um is, is there are so many people before you that did it you know and then at the end, at that point it's all about uh you know what kind of content you're dropping so it, it, it's the person it's the person that people buy into it's not it's not necessarily necessary the content you know it's like I like to think of this like it like rap music. You know, everybody buys into the uh, the freaking rapper being hardcore, and then it turns out like he's like a cupcake, like really emotionally cries behind closed doors. But, you know, that type. Mm -hmm. One thing I realized though, I said to myself, I said, self. And, and I, I feel like this is the only way to uh, really draw men. But me, man, man, I look, look, I got a relative that live out here in Vegas, and he keeps the shit a buck with me. Like he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't bullshit. Jay Money is that man. He he gonna keep it a, a bill. He rides the Kawasaki, um, <coughs> the new one. So you know what he says is like, bro, no one gives a shit you know about your content because they don't know who you are you know you might drop the fires what is it? your content because they don't know who you are you know you might drop the fires what is that you might drop the fires content ever like the hardest but no one cares then you got to have a shock value and that's why most of the motor vloggers you see that start out they show like crazy willies they showing crazy you know, uh, we running from police officers, uh, we racing, and, you know, and all, God, honestly, it's like, damn, that's kind of sad that the only way that you can draw people in is to do illegal shit, but even if you start, like, Josh Heron, for for instance, right, professional motorcycle rider, you know what I mean, he, he a motorcycle enthusiast, but he's a professional track bike rider, for sure, and, um, I was watching his channel early on, right, like, he, Feel like he had a channel for like two or three years at this point and um he only had three thousand subscribers now three thousand is a nice amount and it is a nice number but then you got to think about who this man is like this man is a professional rider like he freaking goes out the track and like really goes crazy i seen it where he was trying to do uh the fastest corner and i think he got to like 180 or something like that and he was just like no, 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 it wasn't the fastest corner. He was kneeing down the, the fastest elbow drag in the world. Like, that's crazy, right? For 3,000 subscribers. That's the sock value there, right? So what, what's going on? Like, you know, but your favorite motor vlogger, he posts, this man could literally just drive down the street, 100K. On that video of the elbow drag, man, the man nearly cleared 
5,000 views, which I was like, what? Now he getting, he kind of getting the acknowledgement he deserves, but even then it's crazy. I mean, for me personally, I, I haven't, I, I'm not one to just like, wake up and be like, yeah, I'm just gonna break the law. It just, for me, it's all about circumstances. If I'm out here and you doing a buck, you doing a buck 30, buck 50, and the cops, you know, hit you for speeding. It's two things you could do. Pull over or take off. Just like it's two things the cop can do. He can either let you go or he can chase after you. So, you know, it is what it is. You don't, you know, a, a lot of people wake up like that though. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like, yeah, shit, I'm gonna run from the cops today. It's like, it's fun for them. And all due respect, most of the times they got the juice to do that shit too. Me on this LZ09, hang it up. Hang it up. This bike is ridiculous. You know, I, I hear all the time, yo, you know, any bike can really run for the car. And that's true. Any bike can. Like, they can successfully get away. Any, any bike can. I'm serious. Like, the maneuverability of bikes is, there is nothing that can outmaneuver a motorcycle. I don't give a fuck who you are. Like, especially a sport bike. Especially. It's so, it's so windy today. Um, but, uh, yeah, but you gotta know what to do. You gotta know how to do it. You can't just be like, yep, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm cool like that, you know? Uh, I think it's 27, like, it's, it's 57 degrees out here. And it's hella windy. But out here in Vegas, it's just too much open space. So like, if I was to run, you know, it's just like a couple seconds that I can get off. Get off. But, you know, there's a Federal Reserve up here. And um, they don't play that shit. They're, They'll shut it down. Hey, look, see? You see quiet bike? Did you see that quiet bike? I hope y'all see it. Yeah. In Vegas? Those are They'll shut it down. Hey, you see quiet bike? Did you see Illegal. You can do whatever the hell you want to. And um, as you can see, it's nothing but dirt around. So they don't really give a... They don't care. I'll be seeing them eating burritos with uh, like uh, freaking dirt bike riders. Like I didn't see them, you know? And it's crazy to think around uh, the country, People are trying to, you know, lock them up, put them underneath the jail, and, you know, basically treat people who ride uh, dirt bikes like they committing murder. It was all because they stop traffic. It's like, I'm not seeing how that it equates to, like, yeah, let's kill them. I, I, I don't, I don't, I think I'm just missing the tie-in where if I'm stuck in traffic because, like, maybe a burnout is happening or a person is, uh, you know, doing donuts on the expressway, does that equals to killing them? Like, what? I, I, it's hard for me to see it, you know what I mean? I didn't, yeah. Anyway, back to what I was saying about the motor block thing. Um, I know CJ on 32s, he, uh, what's up, man? He, uh, he talks about like no editing, like he doesn't have to edit and stuff. And he just posts whatever raw, whatever it is. Which CJL 32s is a car vlogger for the people who don't know. Um, he put a man. He was like one of the first people to have 30s on his car. So you know, shout out to him because.